It's time for the percolator. It's time for the percolator. It's time for the time for the time for the face. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? Percolator Tom here, and I'm back with another tutorial on the updated version of the Keybind mod for what the heck? Uh, the Keybind mod for Minecraft 1.10.2. So if you guys don't know, my last video, this Keybind mod allows you to set hotkeys for different commands that you might use. It's very good for server owners. Especially when you are admin and you need to use a lot of commands like vanish or go into creative and you don't want to have to type out the command, you can simply press a button and you go into vanish. So if you guys don't know this mod, how it works is the inside here is where you can set different commands. So you see here I have this key set to survival, this key set to creative, you know, vanish, things like that. So all these commands are very useful when you, you know, you're constantly using them as uh, an owner or if there's just other commands that you might have access to as a player as well. So let me show you how to install all of this using Forge and Optifine and I'll get into it right now. Okay, so the first step you have to do, and I'll have all the links down in the description, but the first steps you want to do is you want to go to Forge, since you'll have other mods. Now, if you don't have other mods, you don't need Forge, but you probably do have other mods that you want to have installed. It's, it's always good just to have Forge. So the first thing you want to do is come here, and if you have, I'm doing this for Windows, just go ahead and click on the installer, and you want to download Forge. It's going to download to your folder here. And then what you want to do is you just double click on the location and then it says install client. This is your data folder and just go ahead and click OK and that'll install the forge file. The next step you want to do is you want to download light loader. Now with light loader what you have here is you go to direct download and you can automatically download the 1.10 file. And once you have that file, what it's going to do is you open it up here, Light Loader Installer. Now for here, when you have here, it says Install Light Loader Recommended. This is what you want to use up here. Uh, so go ahead and drop down this, and you want to have it extend from. So what you want to do is you want to click on the Forge file that you see here. That's the one you just installed. So you want to have it extend from Forge. And then for your profile name, you can name it whatever you want, whatever you think. And then just keep your location the same for your Minecraft folder. And then just go ahead and click OK. Okay, so once you have that extended, now the only other thing you would need is if you wanted Optifine, obviously all you have to do for Optifine is just go ahead and download that file here on the Optifine location. And then just drop it into your mods folder. You know, you should already know how to do that. And then the final step would be for this page here, the Keybind mod. You see here it's for the latest is for 10.2. So you just go ahead and download that straight to your mods folder. So if you guys don't know, it is under here. So it is under the app data, roaming, Minecraft, and then you click on mods. And this is where you go ahead and put your mod macro into here. This is also where your Optifine would have been as well, as well as all of your other Forge mods that you'd want. Um, now, if you guys don't know how to get to the, uh, if you guys don't know how to get to the mods folder for the .minecraft folder, it's very simple. Uh, let me show you now. Okay, so when you're in the launcher here, you can simply go down to Edit Profile, and then right here at the bottom here it says Open Game Directory. You just go ahead and click on that, and then it brings you up to your Minecraft folder. So if you guys didn't know where your mods folder is, that's how you get to it. So you simply just go to Edit Profile, and then Open Game Directory, and then you can go to your mods folder. And that's where you can put in, you see here I have better PVP, item physics, I have my key volume mod, which is videos on, and then Optifine, all in the mods folder. Uh, so if everything was successful, what you'll do here is down in profile, you'll now see that you have a new profile that you have set up that was called Light Loader with Forge. So once you click on play, it'll construct the mods, it'll have your Light Loader, it's going to load them all, so it's going to look just like this now. And if everything was successful, when you first load into the multiplayer, now mine's already done it because I've already gone in, but when you first launch your server, it'll show that you installed the mod successfully. There'll be a message. Uh, it'll say, 
keybind mod installed successfully and I'll put that up here on the screen right now so you can see what it looks like because I do have a picture of it. And to enable the mod all you have to do is hold shift and then press the button next to the one key, uh, it's the tilde. So next to the one key on your keyboard and that's going to bring up your menu. And then on simply all you have to do is click on what button you want to bind your command to. You know, so for example, if it's gray, that means it's unused. If it's in red, that means a Minecraft command is, is already in, in play. You know, for example, WASD is for the movement. That means it's already uh, assigned to something. But that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful. If you guys have any other uh, questions, you can simply comment down below. Uh, all the links will be in the description. And don't forget to like and share this video with your friends if you found this helpful. Thanks guys. I will see you another time. Peace out.